Hey y'all. Hey y'all. I just wanted to go over uh, three videos uh, from Foot Fables, The Glitch. Um, I'm going to play them. We'll talk about it after, okay? Picking up where I left off, but I saw a cost for love advancing. I may be 12 only, the pockets never empty, coming straight to me, which hung out at me. Looking hungry, hiding laces so nice and tidy, but as you were displaced, my heart began to race. My breath got hitched, my lips went dry and parched. I didn't see the price asked, words got stuck in my throat. When they came, they came out broken and raspy, ghastly. I felt as if struck, by congenital paralysis. How are you going to put a price on love, if love is priceless? Oh yeah, the times we are living in is consumeristic. There are more concerning things in this than what I'm going to point out, but this child says, but I saw the cost for loving advancing. That's pretty alarming. The other thing was, <clears throat> yeah, the times we are living in are consumeristic. Okay, <laughs> are we looking at children as commodities now? That's bothersome. I'm going to play two more videos for y'all, okay? So here's the next one. Being labeled insane can be a good thing because it can give you a new perspective and allow you to see with eyes of faith in a new light. As a film buff, I rediscovered the way the world looks like and I call it the schizophilmic POV for the same reason that cinema was birthed through visionaries to revolutionize the world with new ways of perspective and vision, bringing big things out of films that give us ideas for new innovations. See it differently with me. Cinema is by far one of the most coolest, weirdest, and outstanding mediums on the face of this earth and for this very reason I go to a movie theater and wait for a photoplay like Phantom to appear. When it does, I look upon a disfigured body and hear dialogue of thoughts that tells a story from the mind of a writer who was inspired to write the screenplay that was in somewhat related to their worldview. The movie either moves me to cinematic admiration or elevation. Spirituality can be sensed behind it that influences me from bad to good. Movies are also prayers as films voice our deepest longings. Movies are our way of telling God what we think about this world and our place in it. Movies can be many things. I'd like to suggest that they can also be prayers. Movies do more than tell a good story. They are expressions of raw emotion, naked vulnerability, and unbridled rage. They often function in the same way as prayers, communicating our deepest longings and joys to a God who hears each and every one. God can use movies in your life to create this artificial intimacy in the midst of isolation to be like a friend present going through something with you in times of need. Movies are proven to combat loneliness for the reason that a person learns from a film character's virtues and strengths to help develop their potential, while watching a character outside their frame of reference to identification through projections, identifying with the character's situation. Internalization develops in a person's sense of ownership of what was felt through the character's scene or situation and it makes the person feel less alone, allowing people to find comfort often in seeing the same problems with which they are struggling played out on the screen. Almost like a support group, certain movies help us feel less alone and isolated with our experience, or we may be reassured that we are not alone when we see a character doing something we thought only we did. That's my insane faith.